What's up everybody? We are here at the Mount Falcon East Trailhead and today we will be doing the Castle Trail Loop. It's around six to seven miles. I seen on the map there's a summit for Mount Falcon. We may push for that too. It's a very easy trail. Got off work early today so just wanted to get out and get some exercise. We'll be practicing social distancing wearing masks and being careful this is a great hike it is springtime right now it is march 8th it's about 12 30 p.m there's a 10 to 15 parking spots still open and it's on a tuesday today is tuesday so see y'all out there on the trail Got the Red Rocks Amphitheater straight ahead. Got my trail runners on for the first time since November. And there's the sign. Keep dogs on leashes at all times. Someone straight ahead following that rule. It's about 65 70 degrees out feels a little hotter though sun's coming straight down beautiful day out see downtown denver from the trailhead we're gonna take the turkey trot trail up just because the castle trail to the left is mainly used for mountain bikers. I mean, you can definitely still walk it if you want, but it just makes life a little easier. The first part of a turkey trot trail is probably the steepest part of the entire hike you go through a couple of switchbacks and then you kind of get on top of the kind of get on top where the trail continues where the elevation gain isn't so much but the very beginning of this can definitely be a leg burner We are at an overlook where you get a great view of Red Rocks Amphitheater. This is at about the one mile mark. Been on the trail for about 20 minutes. Only passed about 10 people so far. But pretty cool views of Red Rocks and you can see downtown Denver. It's very clear, clear day. Skies are very blue. It's a little hot out, but that's fine. It's my first real spring hike where I'm not slushing through snow and actually got a chance to put on my trail runners, which is nice. It's a nice little rest point if you ever want to watch a 
mind-blowing sunrise this is a good spot to do so but then again then again so is uh the top of the amphitheater it's also a great sunrise spot to watch some epic sunrises brought my bird lens today weighs about eight pounds i've seen one crow flying in the opposite direction of me but that's fine butterflies are out seen a couple of those already no deer yet it is uh about 1 p.m though most wildlife is not out right now but Last bit of snow on the trail. It's been very dry lately, and that makes this trail optimal when, if you do this after it just rains or snows, it usually gets pretty muddy. Sometimes when heavy downpour comes, they'll even shut the trail down because of mud, but always check trail conditions before coming out here if it has rained recently or snowed. I usually use all trails pretty good source to find updated information on the trail. Other sources of information I use to find trail conditions are Facebook groups. They've got a camping, hiking, backpacking one that's Colorado specific that's pretty active and then some other outdoors one. What's it called, Emily? Ah. Yeah, that one. But there's a couple <laughs> of them that are pretty it? active in Colorado for hiking. The Denver Hiking Club? No. Anyways. Got Emily leading the way, showing off them shoulder muscles. <laughs> My shoulder muscles. Dave's doing his bird photography thing. Maybe the bird's on the tree branch. They're teasing him. They're making noise, but he can't see him. Okay. okay, so right now, kind of that third tree that's in the back, you can't really see it. It's dead, but there are two holes in the top, and there's a bird building something in the bottom hole. Dave is going to try to get a good picture of this whole, this bird, because it keeps playing a little peekaboo inside that hole. Not really sure what kind of bird it is, but... Here we are at the trail junction. Castle Trail's that way great for mountain biking. I don't mountain bike, but I see a lot of mountain bikers out here, so I'm guessing it's great. We're gonna head on to the castle. Got about another mile, maybe a mile and a half to go.
walking up into a, a forest. Still some snow left. Not on the trail though. Really cools down in this forest. Sun's not beating down on you. About a 15 degree temperature swing. Feels great. Elevation climb is just slow and steady. Nothing too bad though. First part of the trail I seen that has snow on it. It's soft snow though. It's a nice little five minute break from the sun. But now we're back out in it. Yeah. There's this downy woodpecker that, on this tree. And he has a nest at the bottom, allegedly. And they're just trying to take a picture of him. But he keeps circling around the tree, so it's kind of difficult. Mm, he's playing hard to get. So glad I brought the big lens. Back there, a little past the three mile mark. Lots of, lots of wildlife compared to what we have seen. Saw an Abert squirrel, white-breasted nuthatch, pygmy nuthatch and a downy woodpecker. You can see the top of the castle from here. We are getting close. I'm not sure what's the correct way to go up. Kind of looks like there's a trail here. There we are, guys. Castle ruins. So yeah, basically what this castle is, it's the remains of a grand home belonging to John B. Walker, a self-made millionaire by 1905. He purchased more than 4,000 acres of land in this area, including what is now known as Mount Falcon Park. Tragedy struck the Walker family around 1916 when Mrs. Walker died. Um, yeah, these ruins are the foundation of a magnificent craftsman style chalet which once stood here. Chalet, his vision. <laughs> chalet. All right, so. Yeah, there's a sign here that says all that crap I was trying to pull off. But you can kind of walk in the ruins here a little bit. So, pretty cool hike to the castle ruins from the west trailhead. My GPS tracker says 3.8 miles. What does yours say, Emily? Emily said 3.6, mine says 3.8. Um, we walked the exact same distance, so, and we're using the exact same map. I'm gonna, just got done at the Walker Home Ruins. We're gonna check out the Meadow Trail. See what's going on over here. Never been this way before. According to the map, there is a summit for Mount Falcon. And this is the route to get there.
It's a very fancy trail, this meadow trail. No, but it looks cool. It look cool. With all the logs leading the way. Another trail junction where the benches are. Very awesome looking benches, by the way. We're gonna continue on the metal trail. It's a sign for the tower trail. I'm gonna go up the tower trail. Lots of switchbacks in this tower trail. Picked up a little bit with the elevation gain. We have arrived at the tower. Gonna walk up here, check it on out. Not a very good social distancing tower, but it's not too busy here today. A couple of people just left. Let's see what kind of views we're dealing with up here. Oh yeah. See downtown Denver, but I don't know. These views aren't bad by any means. I would give this view two out of five stars. Right, about right here is Mount Morrison. That's another great hike that's close to Denver. That's pretty, it's not long, but it's a challenging hike with a steep elevation gain and a short amount of distance. Definitely check that out if you want a little bit of a challenge on the front range. I made a video for it also. If you want to see what it's all about or just look for yourself. Gonna check out Two Dog Trail. We are at the end of Two Dogs Trail. Another overlook, there are lots of overlooks out here in Mount Falcon Park. More views of Denver. Some pretty cool views of the forest over there. Um, looks like the there is a trail that goes on a little ways. We're not gonna go that way though. There's no point. I mean, I guess there's a point, but I just don't feel like going that way. Be a good spot to go to the bathroom, I think. It's probably why it's packed down. Now I'm curious of what the heck is over here. Some pretty cool rock formations. All right, let's go to the next overlook. We are rolling up on Walker's Dream. This will be our final overlook for today. And then we will head back to the trailhead.
There's quite a few overlooks up here. This, in my opinion, has some of the best views in the park. You've got Mount Evans, Beerstadt, straight ahead, I think. Actually, I have no idea, but really pretty. Summer home for presidents of the United States. Here it is. Alright, so those are um, most of the overlooks in Mount Falcon Park that is accessible from the west trailhead. Overall, it's a great hike that's close to Denver. Social distancing wise, it was very easy. People on the trail were very cool today. Um, half had on masks, half didn't, but everyone kept their distance. Highly recommended. Got some nice wildlife, some nice birds today. A bird squirrel. We put some miles in today. It's a good three, four hours, but we need to head on back to the trailhead. So if you like what you see, go ahead, hit that like button. If you like the videos I make, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment. If you want to get updated when I post new videos, hit that bell. But until then, y'all, see you on the next hike.